Hello, my name is Joel Labava, and I am the Franchise King. We are working through the Ten Commandments of Franchise Research. Franchise research, done the right way, will really save you a lot of headaches in the future. Uh, if you do great franchise research, like the way that I, that I teach, uh, you will increase your chances of choosing the right franchise for you and also choosing a moneymaker because you're going to find out all about the income that you can make. All right. Anyway, let's go with number eight of the Ten Commandments of Franchise Research. Do not visit local franchise owners. What? I know. Sounds, sounds crazy. Let me finish the sentence. Do not visit local franchise owners until you know what you're doing. All right. Here's what sometimes happens, and it's happened to dozens and dozens of my clients in the past. They look at a franchise, let's say it's a, a food franchise, a pizza franchise. They have a, a one conversation with the franchise development director, maybe two, um, kind of short ones, not real detail oriented, just, just kind of the let's get to know each other kind of thing. And, and the client gets so excited about this opportunity that he or she starts looking for one that is maybe near their home. And before you know it, they're in their car and they're driving a half hour, 40 minutes to their nearest franchise location of the franchise concept they're interested in. And they go visit. So they go to this, let's say it's a pizza place. They go to a pizza place, the one they're interested in. And uh, uh, the, fran the would-be franchise owner sits down, orders a pizza and starts peppering the server or the counter person with tons of questions not about the pizza, but about the, about the business, about the franchise business. Uh, uh, and, and, and the client even asks for the franchise owner. And, and the questions that, 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 that tend to be asked when you don't know what you're doing yet are, are ones that are very uncomfortable for a franchisee, a local franchisee, to answer. Uh, business questions like, how long have you been in business? Are you making any money? And, you know, are you glad you did it? And all this stuff, which are great questions to ask. But not right away, not until you really know what the brand is all about. You've had several conversations with headquarters. You've talked on the phone to franchisees so you can really understand the business model. You have to really know what you're doing before you drive to your nearest franchise location because uh, the franchise owner, the franchisee is going to pick up on these questions you're asking, and, and he or she's going to know that you're not a regular customer. As a matter of fact, he or she is starting to think that maybe you're a competitor uh, or, or maybe a new franchisee that's going to come in and, and, and ruin things and, and, and move too close to, to their store. The list goes on and on. All right. I want you to visit local franchise owners, but only at the appropriate time, several weeks into your research, not right away, not when you're really excited. As much as you think you're going to come across as just a consumer, you're not. It's going to be really uncomfortable. And, and, and if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to ruin it. Because you want to be able to go to a local franchisee eventually and maybe ask for help. If you become a franchise owner yourself, you want to maybe network with this person. Maybe do some joint marketing things. All right? So think long term. Think long term. All right? Don't go visit a local franchisee too early in the game. Thanks for watching. I am Joel Ababa the Franchise King.